A former U.S. Olympic coach dies by suicide just hours after being charged with 24 felonies, including human trafficking and criminal sexual misconduct. John Geddard had ties to disgraced sports doctor Larry Nasser, who treated gymnasts at Geddard's gym. Now there are growing calls for more accountability in the sport. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi reports from New York. John broke little girls. He broke our spirits and he broke our bodies. At eight years old, Sarah Klein began taking gymnastics from coach John Getter. She was the first known victim of Larry Nasser, but she says the physical, verbal, and emotional abuse Getter allegedly inflicted was far worse. Larry was at least kind. He was loving. He pretended at least to care about us. And John was the one who tortured us in a way that it made Larry and his sexual abuse look like a walk in the park. Getter was expected to turn himself in Thursday. Instead, authorities found his body at this Michigan rest stop. According to CBS affiliate WLNS, he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Michigan Attorney General's office called his death a tragic end to a tragic story for everyone involved. It felt like true to John Getter form, I am above the law, I am a narcissist, and I'm getting the last word. I'm doing Klein and attorney John Manley, who has represented more than 200 Nasser victims, want USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee to be held accountable for the abuse. These people let this happen with Nasser and Getter for money. That's why this happened. In a recent interview with 60 Minutes, Olympian Simone Biles called for an independent investigation into USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic Committee to find out who knew what and when. We bring the medals. We do our part. You can't do your part in return. It's just like, it's sickening. Klein agrees and said she believes there is still abuse going on in USA Gymnastics. What you can do is tell the truth. Give us the answers. Help us understand how this could have happened to us. Do the right thing. We asked USA Gymnastics to respond to Klein's claims and have not heard back, but they said in a statement last night that they had hoped Geddert's charges would lead to justice and that their thoughts are with the USA Gymnastics community. And the Michigan Attorney General's office said they were allowing Getter to turn himself in because they had no indication that he would harm himself. Mola Lange, CBS News, New York.